Today we are grooming Zeus, and he's a one and a half year old Maine Coon cat. This is just your reminder that if you haven't already, hitting that subscribe button helps to support this channel and allow me to continue making videos. Okay, so Zeus here really enjoys moving quite a bit. He's nervous, he is huge, and he needs to go in this happy hoodie because hopefully that will stop him from moving around or it'll make it worse. It's really hard to tell. He has some matting and that's the most important part of him being here today. The owners want the matting to be removed and they are having a hard time doing it themselves at home. His murder mittens were kindfully clipped before he got here and I do not have assistance today so I have to hope that I can do this on my own. The only reason I haven't put him in the globe is because I'm worried he might thrash around with it on and it might really scare him. He doesn't like loud noises, the owner said. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy, Zeus. It's okay, buddy. He has a really big mat in his back end here. It's okay, buddy. I don't know if I'm going to bathe him today. I haven't decided because he is so nervous and moves a lot. I'm not sure it's what's the best thing for him. Good news is that he is not dirty and he does not stink. So I don't think he needs it, but he definitely needs those mats removed. That's for sure. So there's a huge one back here. Let's see if he will stay. Okay, definitely doesn't like that. Okay, buddy, okay. You're okay. You're okay. Oh, sure. Sit and hide from me. Look at that. It's gone. Mat removed. Now, she did ask that I shave the sanitary if I can, but he doesn't like having his tail touched. And when you shave the sanitary, you need to hold the tail up because if they sit, they can cut themselves. Well, not cut themselves, but I could cut him. So. It's all right, bud. Okay, fancy cat. See, do you have any mats behind your ears? I don't think so. Okay, 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 okay. He's wearing this because the owner specifically said she was concerned about how he would deal with loud noises. We're gonna give you a brush now, okay? What a good cat. I really like Maine Coons. I find them to be fairly docile. I like how large they are. And they're beautiful. Like this one here, I think it's called I think his color is called gray smoke. I'm not 100% certain, but his color is beautiful. Oh, do you like that? <laughs> I know you liked your bum touch, so what if I brush your bum? Will you like that? Kitty, don't bite me, okay? Oh no. I'm glad that you're a clean cat and you don't really require a bath because I really don't think you would be very fond of it. Nor do I think you would be okay with the blow dryer. Hey kitty. No, no, we're not going to escape. Good 
kitty. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. No, you may not retreat off the table, sir. I'm just giving the cat ooh, a good brush because the owner said that she was having a very hard time maintaining him and preventing the matting. She's never had a long haired cat like this before, so this is new to her. So I just wanna make sure that the coat is in exceptionally good condition when she gets him back. Look how beautiful your tail is, holy moly. That is the fluffiest tail I've ever seen. Please don't swap me for brushing it, okay? I don't like the way that you're looking at me. We did discuss possibly shaving him into a lion cut, but I don't think that's gonna be necessary today. He only had matting in a few spots. So I'm not gonna do that. I don't wanna damage his gorgeous coat. It's okay, buddy. Look how beautiful. Look how pretty. Are you gonna bite me? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. You're in good shape. I don't see any more matting. Do you want a treat? Good kitty. You are really pretty, Zeus. Are you pretty? Oh, stay there. We're making friends. Here you go. Here you go. Not pets? Oh, sweet cat. Are you a sweet cat? Oh, good cat. Okay, I'm gonna give you more, but first, I wanna brush you with the Equi Groomer. Can I do that? Don't jump. He already jumped off the table once. He can't hurt himself by jumping off the table, but there are crevices that he could hide in. You making friends with the brush? No, nope, no jumping. Sir, come back over here. You're a happy cat. Want some more treats? Come here, look. This is the, oh, no, do not put that on your head. We don't need you going home smelling like a cat treat. I would like to brush your tail more. Sorry, I shocked you. <laughs> Can I touch your paw? Can I touch this paw? This is, ma'am, get away from me. You touch, you touch. Uh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. 
What about with this? You just want to be pet. Wait. <laughs> now, did you go in your carrier willingly? Or did your owners have to force you in there? That is the question. Oh, you're very sweet. Oops, there's hair on your head. <sighs> Sorry, you probably didn't like that. Yep, I'm talking to you. You ate a treat. You don't have any nails to clip. I'm not shaving your paw pads because those paw pads are, in my opinion, the thing that makes the Maine Coon look like the Maine Coon the most, that and the ears. So I don't wanna get rid of those adorable fluffy paws. Okay, are we done here? You wanna go home? Well, that was a fairly simple groom today, guys. Just a brush, a little bit of a de-shed, and a de-matting on a very adorable one-year-old Maine Coon. Nope, you must stay here. We're gonna finish off your groom today with some treats. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you again in a few days.